Welcome to Anime No Madome. Today we bring you the recap of a fantasy, horror, sci-fi, action anime called Vampire Hunter D. But before that please like, comment and subscribe the channel to show us some support. Spoilers ahead, watch out and take care. While walking her guard rounds in the country, Doris Lang, the orphan daughter of a deceased werewolf hunter, is attacked and bitten by Count Magnus Lee, a 10,000-year-old, long-lost vampire lord, also known as a noble, for trespassing in his domain. Doris later encounters a mysterious vampire hunter, known only as D, and hires him to kill Count Lee to save her from becoming a vampire as she is infected from Count Lee's bite. While in town with Dan, her younger brother, and D, Doris is confronted by Greco-Roman, the mayor's son, about the Count's attack in D, and promises to help her if he has Doris for himself. When Doris refuses, Greco reveals what happened to the entire town, including Dan D requests that the authorities, including Greco's father, the town sheriff and Dr. Faringo, faring in the English dub, should hold off Doris' incarceration at the local asylum until he kills Count Lee which will cure Doris's vampire infection. That night, Doris's farm is attacked by Ray Jinsei, Count Lee's servant and Lamika, Count Lee's daughter, who is highly prejudiced against humans and dampiers. D is able to easily defeat Ray, but before he can finish Ray off, Ray reveals he has the ability to twist space around him and is able to redirect D's death blow onto D. Before Ray can finish him off, D reveals he has recovered from the redirected attack in seconds revealing he is a damper and after easily reflecting Lamika's attacks, orders both of them to leave with a warning to Count Lee. The next day, D travels to Count Lee's castle and attempts to confront the Count. Aided by the symbiote in his left hand, D holds his own against the Count's monstrous minions, including Ray and his companions Gimlet, Golem and Chola. While in the castle's catacombs, he is ensnared and captured by the snake women of Midwich. Doris is then kidnapped by Ray and brought to the Count. Using his vampiric powers, D kills the snake women, rescues Doris before she can be killed by Lamica, and escapes the castle. In town, Greco overhears a meeting between Ray and a messenger from Count Lee, who gives the former a candle with time-bewitching incense, a substance powerful enough to weaken anyone with vampire blood in their veins. Dan is taken hostage by Ray to lure Dee out into the open, and Dee comes to his rescue, cutting off Ray's hand in the process and discovering that the candle is a fake. Meanwhile, Dr. Faringo, himself a vampire in league with Count Lee, leads Doris into a trap but is confronted and killed by Lamica when he begins requesting to share Doris with the Count. Greco, who stole the candle from Ray then appears, using the time-bewitching incense to severely weaken Lamica and causes Doris pain, likely due to her own infection, but is shot at by Dan and falls down a cliff. Afterwards, Doris, who has by now fallen for D, tries to convince him to live with her and embraces him. This starts to trigger D's vampire side, but, unwilling to bite her, he forces her away from him. The next morning, Greco is confronted and killed by Ray, who uses the real candle to weaken D, allowing him to mortally wound the vampire hunter with a wooden stake. Doris is then captured and taken back to the castle. Lamica tries to persuade her father not to allow a human into the family, but Lee reveals that there is no harm in doing so, as Lamica's own mother was a human, making her a damper instead of a full-blooded vampire and Lamica is restrained by Count Lee when she becomes hysterical at the revelation. Ray requests that the Count give him eternal life as a member of the nobility, but he is coldly rebuffed for his past failures leaving Ray in a rage. As a mutant attempts to devour Dee's comatose body, his left hand revives him just in time for him to kill the monster. As the processional for the Count and Doris wedding takes place, Dan, having infiltrated the Count's castle, attempts to attack Lee, but is repelled by Lee and falls into a chasm before being saved by Ray who has switched sides. In retaliation for not fulfilling his request, Ray confronts and attempts to weaken the Count with the time-bewitching incense. However, Lee, who is too powerful to be overpowered by the incense, destroys the candle with his telekinetic abilities then kills Ray with the same powers. Before Doris can be bitten by the Count, Dee appears and engages in battle with Lee. Dee's attacks are futile due to Lee's psychic and telekinetic abilities and almost kills Dee before Dee unleashes his own telekinetic abilities and breaks from Lee's telekinetic hold and succeeds in fatally stabbing the noble in the heart with his sword while Lee manages to seriously wound Dee with a dagger. A weakened Lee attempts to influence Doris into killing Dee, but she is broken out of the trance by Dan, who arrives with Lamica. With Lee dying, his castle begins crumbling, and Lee, 
while lamenting his defeat and looking at a picture of the first vampire Count Dracula, notices D is Count Dracula's child and therefore the son of the legendary ancestral god of vampires to both Lee's and Lamica's astonishment. D attempts to persuade Lamica into living as a human, but she chooses to die as a member of the nobility with her father and stays in the castle as it collapses, killing both Lee and then Lamica off-screen. D, Doris and Dan escape the collapsing castle. D then sets off under a now clear blue sky. Doris, now recovered from her bite, and Dan, bid D goodbye as he looks back briefly to them and smiles. If you liked the video, then please like, comment and subscribe to support the channel. This will help us in bringing you more great content like this.